Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another video. A few weeks ago I did a video about a polishing or buffing machine for cars that I had bought some time ago and it was already out of warranty but it was still brand new in the box and it blew up the first time, pretty much the first time I ever used it. We only just took it out the box and it died. In that video I asked you guys whether I should take it back to the shop even though it was out of warranty or my original plan was I was just going to throw it away. And I have linked that video down below in the description box for you so you can have a look at that if you're interested. So after reading the comments on the video what I did I packed it all back in the original box which still looked brand new and I took it back to the store where I originally bought it. I didn't even have a receipt. But as you may or may not be aware, most machines will have a manufacturing date stamped or printed somewhere on the machine. And that date was well, well out of warranty, even allowing for any on-shelf time and sales time and all that sort of stuff. So I took the car polisher in its original box back to the service desk and I explained to the store manager the whole situation. And I said, look, I bought it some time ago probably five or six years ago, it sat in the box on my shelf all this time, we took it out the box and we went to use it, it worked for about half an hour and dead. And guess what, they gave me a brand new one. The manager actually apologised for the machine breaking, they did plug it in and test it, they had a very very close look at the machine and they could obviously see that it hadn't been used. It even still had the original polishing pad with the machine in great as new condition, like used once. So she said, that's unusual, that shouldn't happen. She walked away for a couple of minutes, she came back with this. A brand new car polisher in the box. So let's take it out and have a quick look. There you go, this is what it looks like, brand new when you open it. It's got the instruction book there, it's got a brand new polishing pad, and we've got the actual polishing machine. Never used, brand new in the box. And you also get a little spanner so you can change the backing plate if you ever have to do that. And there's nothing else in the box. Now this is what I spoke about earlier, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says 2023 there. So this is a 2023 made tool. It doesn't have a month on this one. Some machines will even say 0723, meaning it's made in July 23. And if you can see that, Ryobi even gave the extra mile and they put the week of manufacture and the year. So this particular one is week 51, 2020. And hopefully you can see that there. So that way you know this particular tool was made in week 51 in the year of 2020. This one just says 2023. And we've still got 2023 now. So it would have only just been made, shipped over from China. And then I walked into the store and picked it up. So let's plug it in so I can show you guys that it does work now. At the back here it's got your speed controller. So you can adjust your polishing speed to whatever you like for the job at hand. So now we've got it on 6. So I've got a polisher again and I'm pretty happy about that because my four-wheel drive van that I recently bought really, really needs to polish desperately. I have to actually get around to polishing it and hopefully this thing won't blow up again. So hopefully I'll be polishing my van in the next few weeks and if it does blow up again, look, I'm going to take it back and I don't think I'll have any problems getting it replaced again. Now I have to give these guys a 10 out of 10 for customer service. They did inspect everything closely and I think they knew that I wasn't making stuff up. From what I understand, they're not aware that I've got a YouTube channel or that this video is being made. They definitely don't know this video is being made and I don't believe they were aware at the time when they exchanged this off the other video that I have already made and uploaded, that's linked down below. Possibly they're still not aware to this date, unless they follow this channel. Now if you've got any questions relating to this thing here, the warranty service or anything else, leave your question down below and I will try and answer your question to the best of my ability. Also leave a comment if you've had any good or bad warranty experiences. 
getting stuff replaced. Whether warranties were on it or if you got the run around and basically done your money. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button of the brand new polisher for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.